Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to build a simple Android app using a recycler view. Now a recycler view is a special kind of class that will take classes like this and make it where you can show a list. So in this case I have a list of me, but we could you could just as easily change this out for a list of friends, a list of emails, a list of websites, a list of uh, your social media posts, a, a, a list of news stories. It could be a list of anything. But in this case, it's just a picture of me. And in the next video, we'll actually probably fill it in with more detail. But for now, we're just going to display just a picture of me and my name. But you can swap it out for a picture of yourself or your friends or whatever. So here's the code that I've written. But we're actually going to do something different. We're going to go ahead and kill this and kill everything. And I'm going to go up to File, New, and we'll call this uh, Basic Activity is good, and we'll call this one My Friend List. Um, that can be just about anything. Save it somewhere. Make sure you select Kotlin. Make sure you check Use Android X Artifacts because you want to use Android X. Hit Finish, and this should open up. I'm going to go ahead and go back to that other app, and I'm going to close it because we're done with it for now. And this is our new list. This is our new app, I mean. So it's kind of basic, and if you go to preview, we can see it. There's not much there. I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it because it's good to always run your stuff. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So give it a second, and here it is. Okay, cool. So we have Hello World. But in this case, let's go, go ahead and open up Content Main, which is in Layout, Content Main. And I'm going to go to design mode. I'm going to select that and just hit delete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a recycler view here, common recycler view. I'm going to drag in a recycler view. And it expanded. What happened? Let me see the code. OK, so it got that. So go into text mode, and you should see a recycler view here. And this is going to be a little bit more advanced than my previous tutorial. So if you don't follow along or if you don't get something, that's OK. I'll try to clear it up in future videos. But for now, this is our recycler view we just dragged in. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make both the width and the height 200 dp. So 200 dp. That makes it right there. It makes it a little square there. And you can open up preview on the right there. Um, let's give it, uh, we'll do. Uh, end end of parent start start parent bottom bottom parent top top parent so I'm going to go ahead and reformat the code again you can do that with the keyboard shortcut or by going to code then it's like uh, reformat code or the keyboard shortcut right there um, so we have this list here. It's right in the middle, but we don't we don't want it to expand. We don't want it to be just in the just in the center. We want it to be the entire screen. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change this to zero dp. Now that might not sound right, but that that's actually right. Zero dp, and that lets it know, hey, take up the entire space. So there it is. It goes all the way from up there to there to there. And it's going to take up all of this space there. So this is great. And I'm going to go ahead and close. I think we're done with that. And I think we're done with that. Oh, we need to give it an ID. So let's do that first. So let's go to, we can do it here actually. So select it and give it an ID of, we'll call this my custom, my custom friends. And that just adds an ID right there for us. So you could do it, you could type it out here if you wanted to, or you could just do it in design mode right there. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and close that because we're done with it. And I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. So it should look like this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do my, what was it called? Custom friends dot apply. And this is a Kotlin kind of function saying, hey, let's do a lot of stuff with our custom friends. And if we hold down the control key and click on it, you can see, hey, it takes us to our element here, which is our layout. So that's, so we're going to hook that up. So we're going to say, hey, that custom recycler view, let's do some stuff on it. Let's do this. Let's do linear, let's do uh, a layout manager. This will be linear layout manager. And inside of here, we can pass this um, at main activity because that's the name of the class there. So just this, the and sign, and then main activity. And that lets this custom recycler view know that, hey, we're going to be using kind of a, I don't even know what this means, never mind. Let's do this. Adapter, adapter. This is the last line here. Equals, and we'll call this um, my. We'll call this friends adapter. Now this is going to give us an error, and that's expected. So go ahead and click on our. Yeah, we, there, there are a couple of ways we could create this class, but first let's do this. Let's go to Java. Let's do the first one. Let's do new 
a Kotlin class, and we'll call this friends adapter. And we want this to be a class, and I'm gonna hit okay, and this opens up, and now it gives us a different kind of error. So it knows that we have that class created, but it doesn't extend the right thing. So let's do this. So inside of our friends adapter, this is where our list is gonna live. And, and instead of writing a ton of code, we can pull in a ton of code from something else that Android has written for us. So let's do that right now. Let's pull in a bunch of code that we don't have to write. So this will be recyclerview.adapter. And then inside of there, do uh, recyclerview.viewholder. And then we need th those right there. So this might be kind of, con uh, actually, no, that's, that's wrong. We want this to be, inside of here, we want this to be, we want that to be friends adapter dot, and then we'll do view holder. We'll call it view holder for now. So this is saying, hey, create the class called friends adapter, and we want to use, oops, and we want to use a bunch of code that's already written for us. So we need one of those. Uh, then let's go ahead and do this, all of that right there. That says, hey, we're gonna use a recycler view, and each row is gonna be made up of, uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Just, just type this out, it's needed. So I'm gonna click on there and do Alt Enter, and let's do Create Class View Holder, and we'll do it in Friends Adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this, and this may seem a little bit complicated, but hopefully it'll make sense, or hopefully it'll, it'll at least work for you. So down here, let's do this. Let's do um, Val View of Type View, so val is a variable, or it assigns a variable view of type view, and then we need to extend something called uh, recycler view dot view holder, and then we pass in the view that's right there. So now that's done. So now the kind of tricky part. So see, we still have an error right there. All we need to do is click on there and do alt enter and then implement methods, and then it has some methods that we can use. So I'm gonna select all of those, hit OK, and it writes a bunch of code out for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make some space here, and in, the, and in this video, I'm not actually going to show you or explain exactly what it does. I'm just gonna try to make it work, and then hopefully in a future video, I can follow up and explain more of this stuff. So if this seems really complicated or if it looks hard, it kind of is but hopefully, hopefully it'll make sense by the end and hopefully it'll at least work. So there's a couple of methods. There's on create view holder, there's get item count, there's on bind view holder. Let's start with the simplest one. So if you notice from my, uh, I don't have it up anymore, but if you notice from my app, you'll notice it had tons of rows. So each row is gonna, well this kind of like figures out how to display all the rows. Um, and so in mine, there were about 50 friends or 50 faces of me, so we can just do this. We can do equals 50. That's the number of rows we're gonna have. The other thing we need to do is right here. Let's do it, let's do val, we'll call this um, the, uh, layout view equals, and then we wanna use something from the class called layout inflator, and then we put a dot, and then from, and then we need to pass in the context, so we need right there parent dot context. So this is kind of inflating our view for us. So if you did notice from the app, we're not hard coding each row. So if we have 50 friends, we're not gonna write the code out 50 times. We write it out one time and it executes again and again. And if you wanna change some stuff, like you wanna change the name or the photo, you can do that just fine. But in this case, we don't wanna, we don't wanna write each row again and again. That would take a ton of work. So instead, this recycler view, what it's gonna do is it's, gonna, it's smart enough to know how to lay out all the different rows. So we have 50 of those. We have our layout inflator. Let's do this. Dot, I think it's inflate r.layout dot um, my. Now this is gonna give us an error and that's because we haven't created it yet. So let's do this. Let's do parent, uh, then I think false here. So we still haven't created our friend layout yet, and that's just fine. We'll do it in just a second. Well, let's do this. Let's do return view holder. And then instead of here, we'll pass layout view. So that should get rid of all the errors on the screen except for one. That is, we need to create our friends layout. So put your mouse over there and do alt enter. And then let's go ahead and do create layout resource that. We're gonna change this to cons 
constraints. Change it to constraint layout there, so it should look like that. And this should be good. And this should open up the layout. So let's do one thing, let's add a button. So I'm gonna do is click and drag a button there. I'm going to click and drag. I'm gonna click and, oops, I'm gonna click and drag. And there we go, there's our button. So if you go back to here, that should get rid of the error. And let's take a really wild bet. So we've written a ton of code. Some of it might be really confusing, but let's just see if we can do something. I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and let's just see what happens. Let's just see. And there's our button. Now we only see one of those, but the reason is, if you scroll, you actually see a lot of them. So look at that, you'll see buttons. There's just a lot of white space. So to make them as compact as possible, what we need to do is we need to go to text, and let's change, oh, my friends layout. So go to, it's up here, yeah, my friends layout, go there. And for the layout, go to text. And for the constraint layout there, the height should be wrap content. Run it again and let's see what happens. Boom, we have lots of buttons. In fact, we have 50 buttons. So let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and go back to this friends layout and instead of this button, let's do something else. Let's drag in an image view. So I'll put the image, I'll put it right there. Um, oops, let's just cancel that and hopefully it didn't do anything. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go to my uh, folder and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna copy my image and I'm going to go into Drawables and I'm going to paste. And we can select it in there, I put it inside of there, that's fine. Now it's kind of important. We don't want any dashes. So I'd make it all lowercase. So uh, Daniel, just make it all lowercase and you can use underscores. So that's one thing you can use. Go ahead and hit okay and let's do this. Let's do image view, I'm gonna drag that in there. And let's go to project, Daniel Malone, okay. What happened? It didn't add it, let's try again. Gonna add it there, project, Daniel Malone. Still didn't add it, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna add it here, so get rid of that. We don't want our button anymore, let's do this. Let's do image view, um, wrap, wrap but we want the source to be Daniel Malone. That should add there, okay, cool, so there it is. Actually for width, let's do 200 dp, and for the height, let's do 200 dp. So there it is. So I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to design mode, and this isn't really positioned anywhere. So what we need to do is we need to click, that's what my computer's messing up, I don't know what's going on. Let's do this, so let's add it back. Let's do start, start, parent. Um, top, top, parent, um, maybe, maybe this, hopefully this isn't too confusing, but let's set the height back to 200 dp. That should make it at the top there. So if you go back to design, we should be able to see it there, and we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it, and let's see what happens. So we have a list of me. So this is kind of the way there. We also had the text view that said Daniel Mullen from Austin. So let's kind of recap what happens, what, or let's recap what we did today. So inside of content main, if I go into the design mode, you'll see we created a recycler view, or you can just type all that out right there. We called it my custom friends, which you can also do from right over there, my custom friends. And then we, inside of main activity, we set up our adapter. So we call our my, my custom friends, which is the same as that right there. And we say, hey, set up, kind of set out the layout for us. And also we want the adapter to be this custom friends adapter. So control click onto there and we have all of this code here. It says, hey, create a class called friends adapter. And we want to pull in a bunch of code from Android right there. So we don't have to type all that out. We just have this a little bit of code we need to do. So we set up on create view holder. We have our on item count. And this can be changed to anything. It can be changed to 500. That's kind of a lot, but it can be changed to anything. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and run it one more time. I think we didn't change anything, but yeah, here it is. So hopefully this wasn't too confusing, and I'll try to make it even more clear in the next couple of videos. Um, and, I'll, and we'll modify this for, on the next couple of videos. So hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.